Hi everyone, I'm Peter Price. I'm going to show you in this video how to set up a camera for a recording of a presentation or an interview or something like that using the equipment that we have here at CHC. So this really suits um, anyone who's not familiar with cameras and uh, you know just needs some basic information on how to set up. So you're going to need a few things. Obviously you need the camera, you need a tripod, power supply, a microphone, and a uh, memory card. The camera we're using at the moment is a Canon. Um, it's a modern style so it does a really good job and it's really really easy to use. The first thing you're going to need to do is to put the card inside the camera. There's a little flap on the bottom that you open up. The card fits in there and clicks when it's in. You'll only be able to put it in one way around. The sort of card you need is a high-speed SD card. Uh, we have some at college, but they're only to be used really by lecturers. So if you're a student, you're probably going to need to buy your own. Uh, you can get them from Harvey Norman and places like that for a few dollars. Um, and they do work in other devices um, like cameras and, and for other memory storage uses. So once the card's in the camera, you're going to mount it on the tripod. Our tripods are the style with a mounting plate on the top, a removable plate looks like this, it has a screw on top of it which fits into the screw hole on the bottom of the camera. And also this one has a locating pin, there's a little hole at the front as well so you can line it up properly. Do that up as tight as you can so that it gives a nice firm steady shot. This one, if I had a five cent piece I would put it in there and uh, tighten it up a bit more. Okay, mount that on the camera, there's a lever here you've got to pull back and then lock it in place. The power lead has a little tiny plug on the end. It goes on the right hand side of the camera over here. There's a little flap that you move out of the way. Open the flap up. The microphone has quite a long lead on it which is good. That means that um, it can be some distance from the camera. The microphone looks like this. It's the style that sits on a table or another flat surface. And it picks up sounds from quite a range um, near it. So it's got quite a, a wide, I don't know what they call it, sort of field of view type of thing to pick up sounds in front of it. So you basically want to put that on the table close to whoever's doing the presenting. It has a battery inside it, one of those little watch batteries that slots in the back here. They go flat pretty quickly, so you want to make sure that the power is actually turned on when you're recording, obviously, on this little switch here, but switch it off when you've finished. Otherwise, just left in its box with it switched on, it'll go flat really fast. So this plugs in on the left-hand side of the camera in this red-colored socket here. It's marked MIC for microphone, so that's not difficult. Um, so that's it, we've got everything plugged in and, and uh, ready to go. The power switch for the camera is on the front closest to the operator, beeps when it starts and there's a little green light here on the left hand side. A uh, couple of other controls, this slider on the top will zoom in and out. Usually you want to zoom out but that depends on what you're filming. You basically want to frame the shot so that everybody's in it um, and there's not too much wasted space. The other main control is this big one in front of you as the operator. It has four different positions, two of them for making recordings and two for playing back and therefore still photos or videos, you'll easily see which ones they are. So we want the red picture of the video camera to record a video. So when you're ready, you should always do a test recording before you do the, the main recording. It's difficult to tell if the sound is working um, in fact, it's nearly impossible while you're doing the recording. You could put headphones in, but we don't have any available. So um, the best thing to do, plug everything in, plug the microphone in, switch it on, do a short, like three second test recording. Make sure that the sound is working. That's the main thing you're testing for before you go any further. Um, ask the person using the camera not to move it around any more than it's necessary. For many recordings, you won't need to move it at all. Like today, I don't have a camera operator, and so the camera's sitting on a tripod. 
it still it gives you a nice still picture. That's basically what you want. But if someone is going to control the camera, ask them to move it slowly and smoothly. So to start the recording, quite simply, you push this button in the middle. It'll beep at you. And then to stop, push it again, and it will go off. That's pretty well it. So when you've done your recording, you'll switch it off, unplug everything, take the card back out, and then you can use the card in a computer, uh, upload it to the hard drive on the computer, do whatever editing you need to do, upload it to a website or whatever you're doing. So hopefully that's um, been helpful to you, um, and that's it.